than a few weeks ago. <laughs> did it feel better? I mean, did you feel any effect or anything from the car? Did you feel good? Did it feel like you uh, No, no, I, didn't, I felt good today. Yeah. yeah. What'd you have to do as part of your recovery? Uh, just try to get my brain back to feeling normal. Um, you know, it's kind of the opposite approach is what I thought after talking to doctors and um, I was doing some stuff to, um, you know, resting and whatnot. And after speaking with doctors, uh, the approach was, hey, you need to train your brain to get back into the environment of being a little loud, chaotic situations. And, uh, and so the doctor actually kind of recommended me going, you know, to loud restaurants where there's a lot of you know, commotion and chaos and, you know, loud noises just to be able to train your brain and um, mentally fatigue yourself to get back to there. So I thought it was like, man, are you messing with me right now? But uh, no, it, uh, you know, I, he's like, I guarantee you'll be feeling better in you know, a few days. And, and that's what I um, was. So with that being said, it's, uh, it's pretty relaxing better than sitting in a room for a week and a half and the lights off and not talking to anyone so, so what, so what is that? that like to train your brain for the chaos in essence or that uh, I mean to go out in public and to kind of I guess wear yourself out in a way yeah pretty much I mean the way he explained it made a lot of sense I um, probably couldn't explain it as good as he um, was but the doctor but yeah pretty much just trying to get your brain back to in like feeling like we are in the media center right now with everyone talking and you know, stuff going on. So uh, definitely when we come home with headaches and not feel very good and I was doing some uh, hyperbaric chamber stuff or put you in a funny, you go underwater in this capsule. It's not the submarine, <laughs> but um, <laughs> kind of like that where it pressurizes you. And I would just get out of there feeling like horrible and he's, basically says my nervous system I just had so much like an hour and a half to think about what's going on and whatnot and that was bad for me if I could just keep my mind away from things and keep my mind busy uh, that was the best thing and I, I felt great you know working out um, you know, going I went to the Golden Knights game um, I think perceptions everything but also following the doctor's order everything too and um, you know, I feel good I said you went to game four? Five. You went to you were at game four. Uh, one more day punch. Yeah. yeah, so what, and did you have any feeling like any, obviously that was a loud chaotic environment, so did you have any? That was uh, um, Tuesday after Sonoma, so I was starting to feel pretty close to 95%, I'd say this past week. I really started feeling 100%, but um, you know it's pretty close to 95%. Not good as bad of headaches, uh, not feeling so fatigued. Just the symptoms, you know. I've taken a lot of hard hits um, throughout Xfinity cars last year in the Cup Series cars, and never have I had the feeling of symptoms that lasted so long and throughout the week leading up to the next race. Normally, it's the next day you're pretty sore, and then Tuesday you're you're ready to get back to it um but the symptoms it kept getting worse tuesday got worse wednesday and i was like uh oh, there's like this is the first time i've ever felt like yeah i need to go get help and treatment and um, see what i can do i don't know where it's at but uh just big thanks to nascar for all their protocols um the team for believing in me and grant for filling in it uh, definitely not a good position, but um, it, was, it was good to get some rest and feel good now. How, how hard, hard was your that to, I was just going to say, how hard was it for you to decide this is serious? Like for you to have the realization that, yeah, this is more than just taking a little longer than normal? Uh, I just, you just feel like shit. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, I guess a hungover feeling. I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, talked to Bowman a lot. Talked to Reddit. Um, texted Dale a little bit. Some of the guys, Josh Wise, he's dealt with a few of these guys in these situations. So, um, you know, I knew something wasn't right when we got to Wednesday, and I was still feeling like the symptoms were getting worse and worse. And, um, 
that being said, it uh, made the decision not to race and uh, and to get in touch with uh, the brain doctor, and uh, he was great. So. Did you have to change anything with your seat or did it, anything with the interior? Uh, they, talked about, they talked about they talked about changing headrest foam and looking into it, but everything's the same there. Was it ideal to kind of have a 50-minute practice today just to just get acclimated back in the seat? I don't know if it really made a difference. I felt like I feel mentally sharp uh, as, as good as I felt before we wrecked. So uh, the main thing was to feel like we we're 100%. And even when I felt 95%, I was like, man, I feel 100. And then a few days later, I got to 100, and it was really 95%. So I feel really good. I feel uh, ready to go and uh, yeah, excited to back behind the wheel. Was it a hard decision not to race or was it like, look, I'm not running, I can't go? Like, like it yeah, I mean, like there, no, not a huge decision. Had it been make. last year, I think, racing for a championship, points lead, knowing you can pretty much win it every weekend. Yeah, it's a lot harder decision last year, but the way this year's been going, there wasn't a whole lot to lose, you know? Yeah, it wasn't too hard of a decision. Do you think, um, I mean, they made some changes to the car, but, uh, is it, I mean, that was going to be, that's a hard hit in any car, but, like, are you concerned at all about this, this car? I'm probably going to keep my mouth shut publicly on this right now. We talked to Luke Lambert a little earlier this week, and uh, he was saying for the team and everybody, it's a rough go you guys have had to start the season. It's a good fresh reset. Do you feel like you guys are ready to get off to a better start and have that clear mindset? Yeah, I mean, I, I try my best behind the wheel every every time I'm out on the racetrack and uh, just try, drive the thing as hard as I can. And <laughs> we're going to be 30th in practice. We're going to be 30th in practice, or if we're going to be first in practice. I'll be first, but. I'm going to drive the car as hard as I can and be as prepared as possible when I get behind the wheel. Now, are you growing up in Las Vegas, a place that's known for big events? What what does Chicago Street Course have to do to kind of make it a huge event? I think they're doing it. Uh, I think the musicians coming in, doing the concerts, uh, the, it's, it's almost like a festival, which I think is super cool. The reason why I like Talladega so much is because it's a party with a race going on in the middle. And I think this Chicago street race is going to have that, that vibe as well. It's going to be really cool to you know, walk out of the hotel and walk to the racetrack. You don't really ever walk to the racetrack, so that'd be cool. Maybe ride a scooter to the racetrack or something. So, uh, you know, big hats off to everybody involved uh, at the Chicago street race. And... Um, they're putting in a lot of hard work, so uh, super excited for it. I did uh, some laps on the simulator. It's actually a, essentially two squares with a little half circle, but it was really fun. I, I really enjoyed it, so um, I know it'll be a good time in our Wendy's Baconator car out there, and um, Wendy's is actually doing a lot of activation, so we're going early. They wrapped a train with uh, full of bacon, and they're trying to promote uh, with myself the Baconator, so. It's going to be a lot of fun. When you get an opportunity to get away from the track, and I know you're a golfer, and um, you know to go as fast as you guys go on the racetrack, you really have to slow down. It's a completely different vibe. What is it about golf that appeals to you? Well, I think that's a good question. Yeah, I've never really. Last year, I didn't really take any days off. Like I didn't really have a day to go golf. Now I'm making that priority to to find interest and hobbies that I like to do to, you can really drown yourself um, especially kind of the way we've been running and get put into a negative mindset um, and be detrimental to your, to your own mindset so with that being said taking time and finding hobbies outside the racetrack and whatnot I've really tried to make that a priority to have a, at least a day throughout the week um, this year and trying my best to be as you know, prepared as possible when I get to the track, but if I can be mentally clear too, it's better. So golf is fun, taking a couple lessons, and uh, I really enjoy the process. A lot like racing and trying to get better and trying to critique your swing and change your swing and do something different, put more weight on your front foot or your back foot or 
What was your left eye? I don't know. Um, it's it's a tough game, but it's a lot of fun too. How much? How much? How tough was it to be gone? You know, with the concussion symptoms. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.